All right, lumber mill, what's going on today? I think, well, this is, this pipe here, it's not stainless steel. I wish I had a stainless steel one. Maybe I'll replace it at some point. Anyway, it's galvanized. I'm gonna wrap a piece of steel cable, which is right over here. One of these, I've got plenty. I'm gonna wrap that around here, you know, screw it in somewhere so it doesn't move, and then have it come down and attach to this thing, this thing here, and I'll have another cable down there attaching to that side. So that when I turn this, and I'll put some kind of fancy handle or something over here, it'll winch up this whole, this whole part here, up and down, and that's the part where the saw goes. So this is what's gonna lift, lift the saw up and down. And I need this to be mounted in a way that it's not going to move. And my, you know, my first thought was like, I could put some kind of solid thing under it that you know, matches the curve. The problem with that is it's going to slowly wear away and it's going to change this, the height. And it might change the height unevenly on one side versus the other side. But this, once it's leveled, has to stay at the same level because it keeps that at the right level, right? So I'm thinking I need, I need to use ball bearings. You know, I could do something like this, actually. It does work. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is use, use these same ball bearings and basically put them here. Like screw, I'll go on the other side of this in a second, but screw into this. Like put two holes, thread it. So I can put two bolts in and put a bearing there and a bearing there. And that'll be a nice simple way. It's got a, there's enough, there's enough material in there. Like the, the bearings will go through, through enough, or the, the bolt will go through enough stuff that it should be nice and solid. Um, yeah, and then just have two bearings there. There's a bit of a trickiness part. Okay, here we are inside. And I want to get a bolt in here and like roughly there. And I'll have to measure with my, my bearings, but one needs to go right here. I can't really drill into this because it's, you know, there's a space and the drill bit just goes right in. If I keep drilling, it's just going to snap the drill bit. So I need something to raise up this space between. And that's where the, that's where the hole has to go, right in that groove. So I rummaged around in my my uh, scrap and I found this. Uh, I might be able to tap that in with a hammer just to fill it in, but uh, I think I'll file it a bit first. I don't want to be too tight because I don't want to bend this when I whack this in there. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just cut off a little chunk, tap it in. Oh, let me go do that. All right, I cut off a little piece there and I want to get it thin enough. Oh, wow, That's, that might be it. It's a little tight on this side. That side seems good. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's good enough. Maybe I can just tap that in right now with a hammer. Yeah. All right. If I just trim that off, it should be flush and I can drill it like a normal thing. Oh, look at that. Should be able to drill through there, thread it, no problem. And let's see how far that is. Oh, that's far enough, yeah. This is my very scientific way of checking that I have the right size tap. Yeah, looks good. I haven't threaded a hole in a while.
Ooh, nice looking hole. Beauty. Excellent. A little while ago, someone mentioned something about um, lock washers. Because I guess they saw me use a lock washer on something. They're saying that lock washers aren't actually that useful in terms of locking stuff. But uh, the only time I've used lock washers recently is to go beside a, a ball bearing. And that's so the outer ring of the ball bearing isn't pressed against the metal. So this presses against the inner, which leaves the outer free to turn. So I'm just using the lock washer as a kind of a spacer to make sure the pressure, to make sure the ball bearing is just off the metal a little bit. Beauty. Yeah, that looks nice. I like that. One right there. Pipe will be able to ride on that. Yeah. Let's check it out. Oh, beauty. Oh, nice work, Jane. All right, pair of those at the other end, and I should be rolling. Ready for some steel cable. So nice. Maybe I should put like a strip of metal over this and over just to kind of keep it from falling out, but I probably don't even need to worry about that. I don't know, it's an option I can think about later if I need it. Yeah, no need to make silly things that I don't need yet. Ah, oh, good stuff. I should make something that will keep the pipe from sliding this way and that way. Maybe put a little ring on here that will go up against the bearings. Alright, which one? I don't know. Will that, if I cut that in half, will it do both? That might do, if that will do both, I'll just use this. Let's put this away. You know, one of you guys sent me this tap and die set, which is beautiful. Thank you. I think while I have it open, just get a bit of oil on stuff. You know what? I think. Oh, it fits. Nice. I decided to make this ring a little bit, a little bit fat. I figured, ah, stick on. Oh, it's hitting the darn nuts. All right, I have to thin this out a little bit. Well, that might be good enough just as it is. It's got a fair amount of friction on there. It's pretty tight. If this starts moving though, I'll put a screw in it or a rivet or something. Let's see how it does. Like Jamie. That should be good enough.
Well, that came out pretty nice if I do say so myself. Cool. Okay, I've got this part down at the bottom now. And there's my cable. Comes down, it needs to pull it tighter. Or whatever, it needs to attach down here somewhere. tangled up whatever so I'm thinking I don't want to bolt it right into this because I'm not going to be able to reach the nut in there to tighten it anytime I need to make an adjustment so if I rivet this on here then I can bolt the, the steel cable to here maybe similarly to how I did it up at the top Now over here, this would be excellent if I had a big, big honking wheel I could turn. That would be great. I wonder if I have anything like that. I don't know, I'll have to look around. In the meantime, let's just... Maybe I'll... Hold it in place toward the bottom. So it doesn't fall. Or if it falls, it doesn't go far. Alright. That's looking beautiful. I just need some kind of Yeah, if I can I can I can I get a big wheel? That would be amazing. 